I'm Zach, and this is Sky, and this is the Quick Nerd. All right, guys, so what we're going to be talking about today is the hip airplane. This is kind of taking a step forward on our sipping bird that we've done before. Now, what we're going to do is, again, focus on that unilateral stability that we want to see out of our athletes, be it strength sports, field sports, anything along those lines. People can be better set up for success down the road by making sure they're pulling, uh, paying attention to their single leg mechanics. So that's what we're going to do today. We had that with the sipping bird. Now the doc's gonna take us through something a little bit more advanced. We're taking the box out of the equation that we had in our last video, and now we're taking a foam roller, and just in case I need to do something to grab something if I'm getting off balance. But again, that's the whole thing we're looking to do, is challenge the hip and challenge the body in different planes. So I'm gonna just back off here, yeah. and doc's gonna try and get me through this thing. So it's entirely likely that Zach's gonna use that foam roller. It's a very challenging balance move. So what we're going to do here is the same setup that we used for the sipping bird, go ahead and break forward at the hip, one leg goes back as the chest comes forward, come about halfway down to about 45 degree angle, perfect. Now flex the knee of the weight bearing side. Very good, so now you're getting down into a bit of a squat position, this looks familiar, now we're getting into some familiar territory where athletes need this work because this is where they're getting pinched. Now lower that right hip down below the left hip. This is the tough part, this is the really tough part. You can see the ankle starting to shift and wobble, all those weights on a leg that's not touching the ground. And once you reach that end range, you should be feeling that weight push right into that hip on the weight stance, the stance side. Now shift up, stack the hips, open up through the top. And the leg's gonna straighten out a little bit as you do this. You try to keep it bent a little, but it's going to straighten out. He did a great job of that movement. And for most people, one at a time is plenty. Go ahead and take a break there. So, yeah, yeah, totally pulled that off. But if it's fine if you have to use the foam roll, I'd much rather see a patient or an athlete touch in here than kind of stumble out here. We're trying to keep a, a progressive load on that, that stance bearing leg and uh, just touching here won't compromise that at all. Again guys, this is another key component to getting a complete training program. Be it your own training program or if you're applying this kind of stuff into a gym setting or if you're working with athletes. The big thing you need to take into account guys, give them something that they can get their hand on. Like I said, I was dead set on making sure I didn't have to use it, but start somebody with their hand there, get them moving, take it off, get them moving through the whole thing. Start with that sipping bird, check the link above, that'll help you out with everything on that.